In this video, we are going to see the process to replace the existing values in one of the categorical variables present in the data. As you will see, such techniques will solve two purposes. First, the categorical variable starts making more sense. Secondly, such techniques ensure that we do not lose any data. For understanding the method, we are going to pick an example from Kaggle taken from the following link. You will find a single file in this location with the name survey.csv. After downloading the file, we will load it in R using the read.csv function. We saved the data in the following R object. One of the variable in this data is self-employed. If you look at the summary of this particular variable, you would see that there are 1095 no, 146 yes, and 18 n is in this variable. These 18 rows with n is inside the self-employed variable would be removed in case we use the na.omit function on this data. Let's see how can we avoid this because we want to save as much data as possible. More the data, better would be the regression model. And a well-made regression model ensures that the estimates of response variable is close to the actual value of response. So, if we examine this column, it is essentially telling the employment status of the survey taker. Yes means that the person is self-employed. No means he is not self-employed and therefore might be in a job. And NA could possibly mean that the survey taker has not provided this information. If we use the NA.omit function on this data, it would remove the 18 rows that have NAs in the self-employed column. We can save these 18 rows by filling the NAs in this variable with any placeholder information such as no info. So, what I'm saying is to go through the individual variables in the data. If it is possible that empty cells in the variable can be substituted with placeholder information without impacting the analysis, then make the necessary replacements. It is always better to save rows of data from getting removed. Let us see how we made the necessary changes in the self-employed variable. First, I made a copy of this data so that our original data remains intact and we can get back to it if I mess up the data at any stage. We saved the duplicate data in this R object. I have now used the if else function to change the empty cells in the variable with placeholder data. The placeholder information I have used to replace the empty cells in the variable is no info. Inside the function is.na would check if any of the cells in the variable has NAs in them. The function would replace the NAs with no info. If the function does not find a NA, it would look for yes in the variable. And yes would be replaced with self-employed. And if the variable does not have either NA or yes, it would replace the information in that cell with not self-employed. These cells are previously filled with no. After doing all this, we would have complete data as far as this variable self-employed is concerned. The 18 rows that would otherwise be deleted if we use the na.omit function on the data would be saved. Of course, this is when the rest of the variable in these 18 rows are complete. If you go through the output of string function, the variable is now character type. We would convert the variable to factor type using the as.factor function. Once again, if you go through the output of summary function, now the variable is exactly the way we want it to be. In addition to the fact that there are no NAs in the variable, the variable is also making more sense. Previously, we had yes and no in this column. And now, with all the changes, I believe we can more quickly understand the information in the variable. This would also make a more intuitive plot. Another function that you would find useful inside R is complete.cases. This function would return either true or false for every row of data. If a row is not missing information for all the variables in the data, then this function would return a true for that row. And in case there is an empty cell in any of the rows, it would return false for that particular row. You can go a step further and use the sum function together with complete.cases function. Sum function would add all the true given by the complete.cases function. For the current example, on using the two function together, 
we are getting a value of 86. It means that out of 1259 rows, there are only 86 rows that are complete. By complete, we mean that these 86 rows have complete data in all the variables. In this video, we modified one of the categorical variables in the data so that it makes more sense to us. Since we are already in this topic of modification of data, there is another change that is regularly done on those variables in the data that contain age-related information. We will go through this process in the next video.